Now, meteorologist Jamie Jarosik and your Storm Team 2 forecast. And we are starting our day with uh, dry conditions in some spots. Everybody is cold out there with temperatures below freezing. And where we do have some light snow falling, it's still going to be uh, the possibility that those roads are a little bit slick. It's 30 in Dayton. We have 30 in Muncie, Lima, Columbus, and then some upper 20s back to our north and west. 28 in Indy, Lafayette's 29. It's 28 in Chicago. So everybody's cold this morning below freezing. So if you're planning a walk, really we're not going to have any big weather impacting us, but some morning snow is going to be possible. And even going through the afternoon, the chance will be there for some flurries. So we're not going to see anything accumulate beyond this morning, but we are still looking at the potential potential for flurries flying, cold temperatures. We're going to be in the upper 20s early on and only up to about 32 for our high with wind chills feeling almost 10 degrees colder. It's going to feel more like uh, the mid even lower 20s. So be prepared for a cold walk no matter what time you head out. Live Doppler 2 HD radar shows some of those snow showers working across our northern counties right now into western Shelby County. These will continue to drop to the south and east, so working into the southern part of Shelby County. Really maybe a coating out of this, that is about it, but still enough to keep roads slick early on. Uh, we have a front off to our east that is heading away from us, but we're going to stick with at least some morning snow showers followed by just afternoon flurries. And then this next system drops in tonight. That is going to track south of us, and it's going to bring the potential for some snow, especially across the southern and central portion of the Miami Valley. Again, any accumulation with that system looks like it'll be light. It's the timing uh, more so than anything that could be of the biggest impact. So right now we have slick areas and we could have a coating of snow in some cases this afternoon. Just a few flurries. Roads look OK. But tonight, with that next system passing south of us, we expect more snow showers late, and that would be up to a half inch through tomorrow morning. So again, a slow start will be possible on Tuesday. Future track keeps us cloudy through lunchtime, even later in the afternoon with a few flurries around. Then check out tonight that system passing south brings in the potential for that snow, which may fall steady through the morning commute tomorrow, coating the roads again, making things a little slick, but then moving out for the afternoon. So by lunchtime, we're already seeing some sunshine and then that'll continue even later in the day. Here's your forecast today. We're up to 32. It's going to be a breezy, cold day with some occasional flurries. Tonight, we'll actually have some snow showers move back in. We may see around a half inch or so of accumulation with lows near 27. Definitely uh, the potential for roads to be slick. And then some morning flurries followed by afternoon sun tomorrow. We'll see highs up to 36. Another cold day Wednesday, partly sunny, 33 degrees. In your Storm Team 2 seven-day forecast, Thursday's the warmest day of the week with a high of 43. And then we turn cold again for Friday and the weekend with highs in the 30s and a wintry mix will be possible late Sunday.